Ghana make regu. Chelsea Abu Landia Bapura Bap. Negu regu ball. Gapor Karaba Cup. Go get in a minute. Irini Tete. Go no to Chelsea in Ghana. Boxy Moena. Nero to a goal. Nah, Chelsea. Go to a goal. Ya, America, Chelsea. Burundi no niru, ne gure kubo lo aho. Manandi o tu totin ham, sa a chiro ku aho. No girl de na mini ti re a sato. Nke e rik la mera banyere. Okbo o tu o tu aho, nke Chelsea na totin ham mu bara. Mere ka ha kwa ziye nka ana, bo penalty shootout, no lu beke. Nka mere ka andi totin ham, turu ke umeri. My make and do to Chelsea, nor on Aqua. Anna, two and an angle of a Premier League clubs. Gay gossip to Tam Massey Hungary. Neighbor, you to ball. Dortmund, Ghana, for San Chono. Manam Potton Kessin at Dortmund, Abia, they go in a Sancho. Ghana, no to a great ball. In K. Germany. Sancho, Bronya, Mama. No to a great ball. Dortmund in Germany. Ndio to Manchester United. Ndi wapo nkana kapoko arab no lubeke. A wapo lo nyisi obodo bonu state ozo. O nyisi nsu kong kereya priesthood. Boya azu za aturu o nye buchi wisdom. A kwa lo mo chineke. Kahane upo mwe hanoku nke chineke. O nyisi obodo edo state. E turu lu gomeri ozo. Ndi o tu ngala ba kukwa nkana kwa su. No lu beke. Ke e o ta bu bwa lo ha. Nkana kwa strike. No lu beke na njadebe. Nka. Kan gige kwa rai no kwe. Da lo. Diki ino nye rai. Afam ka bu kwa. Nwa da testimony o bala. Ke e mesi anu. Nam, 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 Nam,
Pastor, in our funny fan, our funazo, name ever. Pastor, Pastor Ken, Pastor, I got a room, give me one more in our fumo. I got a room here, name ever. Or get in a man, a more monkey honey, Bella, one up, I got a room here, name ever. Get in a man. Dead, the bomb. I want that room. Just like it is destined for everyone to die once and then be judged by God. It's your time for judgment. It's your time on the land of the living. It's over. Could you money on it? I want that room here, name it. And you come on your own. And you cable. Angel. You have no game, no one. Help. Help. I can see now. If your name is found in this book of life, you will have everlasting life. I found there. I found there. I'm a minister. And I'm a Josie. I found there. And I'm a choir. And I'm a lead the choir. I found me. Check it. But it's not easy. I found me. I didn't easy. I found me. I saw that he's there. We don't easy. You need to check. You need to call up or fuma. Nene, you fuma. I am very sorry, but your name is not in the book of life. Bam bam. Hey, angel. Nene, you fuma. See, it is nene. We don't be nasty. We don't need to nene. You fuma. See, we have a minister. I just want to go. We 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 want to go. Serve the Lord very well. Uh -huh. but unfortunately, but unfortunately, you let the two foxes destroy the vineyard. Now, let your deeds judge you. Sister Vivian, good evening. Good evening. Amosiano, <laughs> Ada, hey, sister, you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able I got doctor Adam bam bam ba ekwe mchine ke mkwa na meji do mwe Ando mwe ma eji mi Kwa mwa nwa kwa bisi boy mwe Oburo no te ada Obune goni Ime me mwe ya Ime me mwe oburo makanka Uwe 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 goni mwe Osa pelo onu we sigi Ifuge ye nja kwa gesu zina mwata mwe ka No frogi nanya No frogi nanya Apa kanchi sigi Gesu zina onya no Ime me me balu no ke tujegi Ifu <laughs> Ah, 
can see you. Hey, and Mef 500 has cost you heaven. Now the 500 naira, Pico, have mercy, Pico, 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 give me a second chance, Pico, I have a problem. Let me go and correct my mistakes. There is no second chance. After that. <laughs> Chineke bikeje, alo alo nko alo. Abo ronga apo. In fact, ebo mu church nisi. Ne mi yeni ne de de mwa. Biko, biko. Na ni 500 naira in the rada. Oh, oh, kidne me. Kidne me si. Kidne me si. Kidne me si. Jesus, 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 hey, be gone, oh no, be gone, oh no, 9500 naira, hey, be gone, oh no, no, hey, Jesus, Jesus, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, Lord Jesus, ah, ah, have mercy, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, ah. I am hungry for souls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I move like a rolling lion looking for who to kill, for destinies to steal. It's true, you said you're not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. But true, but you need to know that I have come up with another strategy of rebranding sin. Even your good book says that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is destruction. She was not an adulterer, but still she was accused for the crime of abortion. I am responsible. I rebrand sin and make it appealing. To Christians. <laughs> and how will you be so sensitive when I have given out information everywhere? My agents are spreading distractions in form of songs, in form of ungodly videos, and Christians are busy watching. How will you destroy me? How? Tell me, how will you destroy me? My plans are so perfect. You are busy with your distractions to even sense that this is sin. To stand your ground and say no to sin. <laughs> oh, I delight in souls. And if you are not careful, I will come back for all of you. <laughs> I love souls. Souls. Give me more souls. Father, we thank you for everything I've done. Thank you for your perfect will and your perfect plan. 
We know that all is good before your sight. We know that you have a perfect will for us. And we know that our sister, friend, daughter, and wife is in a place rejoicing. And therefore, we thank you. We thank you. I'm alone on all back and Jesus. Bibi and Numa give up and not see any way. What's your Numa? I'm a Your deeds on earth. He can worry Roma. You still have a lot of chance. You have a lot of hope and opportunity. But the, the tragedy is when you ignore and neglect an opportunity you have. Then what happened to that sister will happen. But we know for sure when you walk according to God's principle, God's standard, we are fortunate enough to be in a ministry such as this, hearing the word of God, hearing sound doctrine that will help us to run our race, heavenly race. If you abide and follow these instructions, these biblical principles, heaven will be where we will end our race. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the next thing we have is choir administration. The royal youth will number to render to you as the listing be blessed in Jesus' name.
Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. <laughs>
we are looking at the theme principles of maximum kingdom success not worldly success but kingdom success point number one anywhere god's purpose is god fights to defend it at all costs write it down anywhere god's purpose is god fights to defend it at all costs many children of god have deceived themselves and they have also been deceived by people who preach to them and they hear it. they are doing their own thing they are pursuing their own thing they have no agenda for god the man is doing business is not even a genuine type player he's building his house he's, he says i'm a child of god but he's pursuing his own thing and when he meets with a battle in that business he expects god to take over the battle as god's own battle whoever told you that deceived you is a lie he will not take that battle as his personal battle not even because you are his child i will, I will prove some things to you from the scriptures God is committed to his purpose not to people anybody that aligns with his purpose then God is committed to that person are you hearing me now God is committed to his plan not to anybody I will say uh, Angelina you must go to heaven whether you whether you do good or do bad is he has a plan those who do well he will be committed to them he will be helping them encouraging them to make heaven those who decide to live anyhow they have the right to make hell so god is committed to his purpose not necessarily to individuals that's why the Bible says God has no respect of persons. He said, them that honor me, I will honor. Those who dishonor me, I will dishonor. He said, those who dishonor me, they will be those who despise me will be lightly esteemed. That's um, 1 Samuel 2 verse 30. Praise God. And so, anywhere God's purpose is, God fights to defend it at all costs. Isaiah 14 verse 24. Isaiah 14 verse 24. He says, Shh, the Lord of hosts has won. Saying, surely, as I have as I have thought, so shall it stand. As I have proposed, so shall it come to pass. This is what I have decided. This is my plan for this, this season, for this year in the history of humanity. And anybody that will work with me, I will work with the person. I have sworn, I swear, my plan will stand. Anybody that fights my plan, I will fight the person. And you can imagine when God decides to fight a man, who is that person that he will survive? So, God is committed to his plan at all costs. Isaiah 37. Isaiah 37. Verse 33 to 36. He was speaking to the children of Israel when Sennacherib wanted to conquer Israel. Therefore, thus said the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way he came, by the same way he shall return and shall not come into this city, said the Lord. Why? For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Yes. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand. That is 185,000 persons. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. I will defend this city for my sake and the sake of my servant David. 
Why will I defend it for my sake and for the sake of my servant David? Because David walked with me when he was on earth. He was committed to me, so I'm committed to him throughout his generations. Praise the name of the Lord. This is beyond being a child of God. It is more than being a child of God. In 2 Chronicles chapter 3, verse 18, 2 Chronicles chapter 35, verse 18 to 25, God allowed his own son to die just to defend his purpose. There is a king of Israel called Josiah. This Josiah was one of the most righteous kings of Israel. This Josiah reformed. In fact, his mother was an idol worshiper. You know, when a king is ruling, the wife is a queen. Is that right? When the king dies, the wife continues to be a queen. Then the son will take over. The wife will be called queen mother. That's what they call her in the Bible. Queen mother. And then the, the wife of the son will become the reigning queen. Now, this Josiah went to the extent that he removed his mother from being queen mother. He said, Madam, your throne is removed from today. Go and sit in the kitchen. Why? For being an idol worshiper. He wiped out the worship of Baal from the land. Killed all the prophets of Baal. Brought so many changes. And the Bible said he organized the kind of Passover that was not even organized by David. Not even by Jehoshaphat. Not even by any king. The Bible said this kind of Passover that he organized, it has never been organized even since the days of Samuel. You can imagine how long. There was, the Bible says there is no king that turned to God with all his heart like Josiah. One assignment I want to give to you is to show me one righteous king, one righteous king of Israel that ever died in battle. A righteous king of Israel that died in battle. You won't find one. Not one. Yes. And there was no Passover like that kept in Israel from the days of Samuel the prophet. Neither did all the kings of Israel keep such a Passover as Josiah kept. And the priests and the Levites and the, all Judah and Israel that were present and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the 18th year of the reign of Josiah was this Passover kept. After all this, after all this, so there were so many things before that. He said, now, after all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, he, he rebuilt the temple, removed all the rubbish that his father packed into the temple. Neko, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Neko, Neko, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Kakamish by Euphrates. And Josiah went out against him. Are you understanding? This Josiah died in battle. He's the only righteous king of Israel that ever died in battle. Something that has never happened since the history of Israel. I want to prove to you that God's purpose is more important to him than anybody. So if you can just bring yourself into God's purpose, you will wipe out anything and anybody that stands in your way. Go back. One verse. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Neko, king of Egypt, came up to fight against Kakamish by Euphrates, and Josiah went out against him. It was not Josiah he went to fight. Israel was like this. And the man was marching like this. And he had to pass near Israel. Who entered Israeli territory? Yes. But he sent, Pharaoh sent ambassadors to him saying, What have I to do with thee, thou king of Judah? I come not against thee this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. 
Somebody read the next verse. The next one following it. This is a righteous king of Israel. And a righteous king of Israel from Genesis to Malachi never died in battle. Except this one. God sent an unbeliever on assignment. The people of Kekemish, they are very wicked. They have provoked my heart. Go and destroy that city. A prophet told the king. And he said, I'm going to do what God said. And they marched out to go and destroy the people of Kekemish. And this righteous king came and stood in the way of divine purpose. In the way of what God wants to achieve through this king of Egypt, which is to go and destroy Kakamish. And the man said, I don't have any battle with you. I'm not coming against you. God sent me to go and destroy this city. Don't meddle with God who is with me so that he will not kill you. But did this Josiah listen? No. Nevertheless, Josiah will not turn his face from him, but disguised himself that he might fight with him because he knows the man doesn't want to fight him. So he decided to disguise himself that he might fight with him. Help me to finish the rest. From the mouth of who? And hearken not unto the words of God from the mouth and the words of Neko from the mouth of God and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. Yes. And the Akas shot at King Josiah. And the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am so wounded. Yes. His servants therefore took him out of the chariot and put him in the second chariot that he had. And they brought him to Jerusalem and he died and was buried in one of the sepulchres of his fathers. And all Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Everybody was crying. This kind of thing has never happened. In fact, Jeremiah wrote the book of Lament. Go ahead. And Jeremiah lamented for Josiah. And all the singing men and the singing women spake of Josiah in their lamentations to this day. And made them an ordinance in Israel. And behold, they are written in the lamentations. When you read the book of lamentations, Jeremiah wrote it purposely because of what happened to Josiah. It was a terrible disaster. Something that has never happened in Israel. Why did he die? Hmm? Why did he die? Because that is the object of our lesson. The object lesson of this message. Why? He stood in the way of somebody that God sent to do something. That person was an unbeliever. Himself was a child of God. But this unbeliever had a message from God. And he was going about it. And the child of God had to die in the hands of an unbeliever. Just because the unbeliever had a message from God and is carrying it out. So divine purpose is greater than people. It's not just because you are his child. If you are living in God's plan, if you are living in God's purpose, you are unstoppable. Praise God. You're unstoppable. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. And the witch stands in your way. Just open your mouth and speak. I'll allow God to do the rest. The witch will go blind. The problem is that many of us want to live out, do our own thing. What you want. The way you want it. And you expect God to take over your battles. As if it is his personal battle. God does not do that. There are other unbelievers in the Bible that God gave unstoppable power just to fulfill his agenda on earth. Not only for Neko. Unbeliever, God gave them power to, to, to overcome others. They become unstoppable. Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah 45. Can we stand up to read it together? It's good to stand up and read the Bible. Lift up your Bible. 
because this screen can sometimes deceive people. Say, this is my Bible. I believe it is the word of God. I am what he says I am. I have what he says I have. I can do what he says I can do. Anytime you are coming to church, come with your Bible. When you are traveling, you can use your phone. If you go to your office, you can use your phone. As you are coming to church, come with a hard copy of the Bible. Can we read one to go? Or say. All right, I will read verse 2 and you will read verse 3. Verse 2. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have so named thee, though thou did not know me. You may be seated in heavenly places. He kept saying to him, Though thou hast not known me. So that man doesn't know God. But did you see what God said? He said, I've given you power that you are you're unstoppable. I'll lose the loins of kings if you read and continue. You see what he said? Anybody that stands in the way of Cyrus, I'll finish him. Do you know why? Because Cyrus was the man that is going to release Israel from captivity. So that they can go back to their promised land. Israel was captured by Nebuchadnezzar. And the kingdom of Nebuchadnezzar continued until his grandson was on the seat. Belshazzar, take care, take care, It was this Cyrus that conquered that Belshazzar. And it was this Cyrus that now released the children of Israel. And God said, because of the assignment I've given this man, anybody that stands in his way dies. What is the assignment that God has given to him? The day you take that assignment seriously, you become unstoppable. The day you step into that assignment, heaven and earth will obey you. Praise God. By making God's gospel agenda, your personal agenda, you become unstoppable. Acts 1.8 and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall become my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Samaria, in Judea, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. The power Moses and Joshua enjoyed, it was not because of their personal spiritual development, but because of divine assignment. He was a shepherd in the wilderness. And suddenly God came one day, and fire was burning in a bush. And the bush was not burnt. And he was afraid. And God began to give him a message. And he began to argue. And God said, the wood you are holding in your hand, throw it down. The thing became serpent. Power has come. Home. He was not fasting and praying. He was just leading sheep. Because of divine assignment, Moses was unstoppable. Because he agreed to do what God sent him to do. Not even the king of the greatest nation on earth could stand before him. All of them were crushed. I pray that you will step into God's assignment for your life. I pray that that thing that God wants you to do, you will start to do it now. You will start to preach the gospel. You will start to intercede for souls. In the name of Jesus. So, your kingdom vision is God's share in your personal success. Your kingdom vision is God's share in your personal success. 
A lot of people amaze me. They is 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 um, is amusing when people bring out their prayer request for the year, and you see what they write in it. There is nothing in all those prayer requests about kingdom vision, about how how they are going to advance the kingdom of God, how they are going to win souls, how they are going to help build a church, how they are going to help give scholarship to some indigent uh, students in the church, how they are going to, you know, one way or the other be a blessing to, to the work of God. No, it's not there. I want to build a house. I want to buy a car. I want to marry. I want to do this. I want to do the, a tall list. God will look at it and say, Angel, throw it away. There was an illustration we did on Saturday, yesterday. And I said, supposing you are to be interviewed by the Senate, they have put your name in the list that will be appointed minister for, for education or minister for finance. And you are to appear before the Senate to defend yourself. Why should you be given this job? And what are you going to do when you get there? And you get before the Senate. Number one, we don't have a good house in my father's compound. We are living in one old mud house, dilapidated. And um, first and foremost, I want to build a good house there. The road leading to our house is so bad. In Senators, you need to pass through that road. So when I am made a minister, I'm going to use my influence to bring people to walk that through. You are laughing. But this is what we do. What, one of my uncles is wicked. You need to know him. He has dealt with many people and he collected my father's land when my father died. Immediately I become a minister, I'm going to use my influence to collect our land back. I'm not saying I'm going to oppress anybody. No, I just want to collect what is my own. And you finish all these lists. They will appoint you minister. They will clap for you. Why? This is what we do every day. And we are expecting God to mark good. We will be deceiving ourselves. That's why many prayers are not answered. When God just looks at his angel, throw it into the dustbin. Ask yourself, that thing you are asking for, what is God's share inside it? When you get it, how is it going to enlarge the kingdom of God? That's what God is interested. God is more interested in his purpose than in people. If you can show how that thing will advance God's purpose on earth, then God will let you have it. Do you know that how many years Hannah has been praying for a child? But the day Hannah said, if you give me a man child, I will return him to you. Hey, God said, all right. Take, take, take another one. Take another one. Take another one. Take another one. Until he had Samuel and he had another five. God has no business with self-centered people. Selfish people. So there are prayers that God will never answer till eternity. Because they are self-centered. They have nothing to do with advancing God's kingdom. It's all about me, 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 me. I, 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 I. And God said to that man, thou fool, your soul is required of you this night. The power. Kingdom vision makes your battle God's battle. Look at Gen Genesis 28 where we read. Genesis 28 verse 19. Why was Jacob very successful? Everything Laban tried. Laban could not frustrate Jacob. Why? Jacob had kingdom vision. He understood what God wanted to do with his life. And he decided to pursue it. Genesis 28 verse 19. 
and he called the name of that place Bethel. Bethel means house of God. But the name of that place was Lord's at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow. What did he say in his vow? If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tent unto thee. So from that time, they were already paying tight. His father was a tight payer. Abraham paid tight to Melchizedek. God, we are in a partnership. If you will go with me and come back, everything I give, I get. You will get one tenth. Your tight. That's basic share. And then he said, this house, this place, where I suffered, this place where I slept on a pillow, this place where I had no friend, no, no neighbor, no helper, in a desert on a pillow, it's going to, I'm going to turn it into a house of God. And God heard it. Everything Laban did to frustrate this man failed. God was with him fighting for him. Because God has a share in his success. Help me ask your neighbor, does God have a share in your success? If God does not have a share, expect that thing to fail. Just expect it to fail because it will fail. God is not interested in selfish plans. He is interested in his own purpose. Anybody that will work with that purpose, anybody that will support that purpose, God will support the person. Praise the name of the Lord. So your tithe is basic. We are not talking about your tithe. Your tithe is already God's own. So that thing you are pursuing, after you have removed your tithe, when you get it, after you have removed your tithe, what else are you going to do for God? You are looking for a contract of uh, 200 million. At the end of the project, you are going to get about 40 million pro uh, profit. Already 4 million is God's tithe. Out of the 36 million remaining, what are you going to do for God? Praise God. That the ear and devil shared a testimony that is humorous. Somebody was jobless. So he started doing agency business in Lagos. Real life story. He started doing land agency. So he came to Adeboy and Adeboy prayed for him. And um, God favored the man. A very wealthy man decided to give him five stories building to rent out the man has just finished building the thing and the man decided rent out the building the first one year rent take it somebody say favor first one year rent take it so assuming Five stories building, that's six flats this way, six flats this way, 12 flats. Assuming he rented it, let's say 300,000. 10 flats will be 3 million, about 3.6 million. For instance, I'm, give, I'm just giving an illustration, but it's a real life story. So the man came to Adeboye and shared the testimony with him. Adeboye rejoiced with him. He said, okay, brother, you know that this out of the whole flats, you should give God at least money for one flat to be your serve as your tithe, apart from whatever else you want to do for God. The man said, This is the first money, big money that is entering my hand. And I, I want to use it to start a business. 
Later from that business, I can now pay God tight. And the boy said, go in peace. The day he returned to the man that he has found some tenants that want to occupy some of the flats. The man said, what are you talking about? He said, the house you promised now that I can put tenants there. Me? Will you get out of my sight? Don't allow me to arrest you. If you stay here a minute longer, police will arrest you now. And the man ran away. Praise God. Look at what self-centeredness did to somebody. Because of ordinary 300,000, he lost 3 point something million. Self-centeredness. Oh, joker. What is my counsel to you? Any plan for your future that does not include how you will enlarge God's kingdom is a self-centered and evil plan. Such a plan is already doomed. You see that in the book of Luke chapter 12, 16 to 21, about the rich fool. Cancer number two, the sincerity of your plan is proved by your present sacrifice. Second Corinthians 8 verse 8. God wants to test the sincerity of your love. Some people say, if I have 10 million, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the other one. And God will give them 10,000 to test them. If you can't pay tight out of that 10,000 and help somebody, maybe with 500 naira, out of the remaining 900, listen, when they give you 10 million, you won't be able to pay tight. If you want to know what you will do tomorrow, check what you are doing now. I will build church. I will build cathedral. Two stories building. The, the, the first story, Gabo Gallery, the Nenwenwe office complex. church key. Praise God. May the Lord give us grace. May the Lord bless you lavishly. May the Lord lift you up. I have been able to show you that there is something you can do and you become unstoppable. And which, if God could kill his own precious child because of kingdom vision, kingdom purpose, how much more the witch that is troubling you, how much more the native, he will waste them. The only, the only problem is that you have been selfish. You have been doing your own thing. But today, God will help you to pursue kingdom vision. God will help us to pursue kingdom vision. You are unstoppable. I said you are unstoppable. In the name of Jesus Christ, rise to your feet. Lift your hands and begin to give God praise. Lift your hands. Say, oh Lord. Lord. Help, me help me to love you, to love you sincerely. sincerely help me, help me not, to not to deceive myself help me, help me to be a genuine tight payer to be a genuine giver help me to pursue kingdom expansion begin to pray that prayer now. you want to be born again you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior Wherever you are, lift your hand. I want to pray with you. Lift your hand. That's right. Lift that hand. Put it to your chest as I pray with you. Say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. You died for my sins. You rose from the dead to wash away my sins. Please come into my heart. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. I vow to serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of my life. Thank you, Father for saving my soul in jesus name i like mommy to pray with you father we thank you O oh god for those that have surrendered their lives to you forgive their sins in jesus name give them the grace to serve you to the end you are covered with the blood of jesus in jesus name amen come on you are my when you are my keyboard 
Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On Friday, my message in Aga on Thursday, um, maybe five or five thirty. Kai meche deliverance ni me deliverance room. So my chikota le bele. That is iko bele ndo minister se bele. Then osim mu putaka e bele mu e bele. So on pulo na center. Osisi be bele makasi den ni si dim. So I bet e di e bele be thirty minutes. I basa. So Olu on Friday. So di mu e bata we na sim na. Makosi enu go bata mecha offload. Back ya moto na nip ko ebe. We chok o blu moto on chive si on echa. So asi na balu na kuzu junction. That is is talking about fuel tanker. So on Friday. So asi na abu moto on gaji on echa na mechanic. Olu na kuzu junction. Baka baka ne use zo kada. Then oya kada bo mad na bo. Sinye nya wado tre. So the only kada. Chum Baba can open the trailer to near you. I see you are not in the van. You may have missed one or break. So break in your jersey. Okay, now when I na na basi alo Baba tasi ana motom kia. Shout fire! You may have noticed we have not talked with the Okada, but quite senior the motor near you mark, never mark tank. So before you know it, Baba Chana, three of them Ghana. Obala na baba ni isi so nya litwo pak zia moto litwo babu zia obala ni isi ni eti na apo so di mu je kuru be si ba ke ibo bu ke de le unu si we baba zia nku di ni ana nu na anya somebody stand up and give god seven hallelujah deliver you from all evil. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we do mean ye chine keke ne. Makan obo na moto ti musina. Obo na madinato na nepu moto na baba na taya. Kopia 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 ba kopia ma. Na na haya no na kada. So we do mean ye chine keke ne. So a cho mun kene chine ka ji over na re kele ni ne. Wo ye we no no bi ya siri ke. Chukwa we no no Oka <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The second one, bo, omo ibe ne ne munso bunaka, and iha mu me my mother. So the team bido me me one day one day tetu la kam zaza. So si ben ba dance up ibu go one. No one ki me mu. Ni yare me mu. Ni ba bunaka me ne ma yare me. Hey hey. Ni get disappear. Somebody say man. So, we are them, and we only for it. Then, Osa kata Osa o okupa, okupa ta kata wadu, saba saba. We are going to So, we are going to start the meeting last week in Galaga. Next year, can I come on Wednesday, Wednesday? Put your hands together for Jesus. Shout power! Shout power! Say, I will never suffer. What my parents suffered in Jesus' name. The next expire. All right. All right. Let's stand to our feet. Lift your hands and today is special. Yes, yes. Oh yeah now. I'm already dancing on.
generation forevermore. Father, to you, be all the glory. While they are going, sister, come, come. Everybody stretch your hand towards her. Say, oh Lord, we return the glory to you for what you have done. Every satanic agenda against this family, by the blood of Jesus, let that agenda be destroyed. Found every satanic agenda against her, against her husband, against her children. Let that agenda be destroyed. Let that agenda be destroyed. Let that agenda be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Let that aleke peto rukatina handa rabasunda bariyakash. Any wicked person in that company that wants to deal with him, God will deal with the person. Everybody stretch your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. Any wicked arrow fired at him. Let the arrows go back to sender. Kill the sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Le posi katilika baradoska. Le peto baruka tika liga baradiga dia katoska. Every witchcraft, every occultic, every demonic arrow, every enchantment, every charm, every bewitchment, fire that is life. Let it go back and kill the sender. Let it go back and kill the sender. Let it go back and kill the sender. Other people will not die with that sender. That wicked sender shall die alone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. You and your family, you are preserved. In Jesus' mighty name. Youth. Obina somu so bina somu so Jesus and Elizabeth Obina somu so bina somu so Jesus and Elizabeth Ah Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to appreciate the Almighty God who made today a success. It's actually the prayer request made in inner room by the servant of the Lord, by the prayer coordinators, and today we can see that the Lord answered the prayer. Put your hands together for Jesus. Secondly, I want to thank the servant of the Lord and the mommy of the house for the opportunity to be a blessing to every one of us here. I want to thank them especially for creating this platform for us to be a blessing to everyone, to this, our generation. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. I want to thank everyone seated here for this 
for making our time to be here, sitting down patiently, waiting for us to render every content we have today. May the Lord keep blessing you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to thank the wonderful youth. Vibrant indeed. Wonderful youth. Shout hallelujah. Committed youth. Zealous and passionate for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank them especially for the support. Without them, I don't think I will do anything. It's because of them because of their support. That is why today is a big success. I want to thank them. I want to thank the wonderful executive of the youth. May the Lord keep blessing and enriching you in Jesus' name. Thank you for the time. Thank you for everything. God bless you. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. All right, let's um, ask somebody to comment. You and me today, uh, 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 you may take you by surprise. More joker or maka. Mrs. Moore, you cannot go in. I've not seen Pali to four Kaimal. I've got no other man. Praise the Lord. In fact, this is the most fabulous, wonderful, exciting, soul touching program of the youth I've ever attended. God bless you. Mrs. Celia. Hallelujah. Uh, but it's amazing why even me today, or Joker called Maka. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the performance of the youth today, in my own opinion, is epochal. You see, uh, it's thought provoking and it's something I've never witnessed before. We pray God to continue to give them wisdom so that in future they will perform more than this. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. He said it's epochal. That is, it has never been seen. It, it is dispensational. It, 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 it starts a new line of thought, something that has never existed. Turn to the altar. Everybody lift your hands and begin to thank God for their lives. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory.